Hey, how you doing? I'm Trendy Sanderson, and you're tuned in to the famous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. In this video, I'm about to tell you something so powerful, okay? I'm gonna tell you something so magnificent, okay? After this video, you're gonna be able to attract anything that you desire, okay? After you listen to the story I'm about to tell you, okay? I'm about to tell you how to talk to the universe, okay? And be able to attract exactly what you want by speaking to the universe, all right? For those of you who don't know, I'm gonna tell you, but the universe does in fact hear everything that you are speaking. Okay, the universe is almost like the command prompt on the computer. Okay, it's waiting on you to enter in the command for whatever you want to demand or to attract into your life. It's constantly listening to us. All right. I remember growing up in the church, man. Um, I grew up in the church. You know, I grew up in like Christian religion and stuff like that. And, um, you know, growing up in the church and trying to study the Bible and, you know, just trying to learn who was this, this God thing, you know, what was this all about? And, you know, my whole thing was, you know, studying God it seemed to be so sophisticated. I'm like, okay, this this book has all these uh, weird uh, scriptures and stuff in it. I'm like, yo, what is what does this have to do with <laughs> my connection to God? Like, what is this trying to tell me? And so I could not understand. I could not understand like something so complex as the Bible and, and having a connection with God was actually really simple. OK, I just I just didn't understand. Like at the very beginning of the Bible, it says in Genesis chapter one, verses three, it says. God said, let there be light. And then there was light. And then he saw that the light was good. And so he separated the light from the darkness. God said, let there be light. I'm like, what? God said, let there be light. What does that mean? And so. There's another scripture also in the Bible that's in John chapter one, verse one, which is, which says in the beginning was the word and the word was God and God was with the word. And I'm just like, well, what is up with this whole speaking thing? You know, G Genesis chapter one, verses three is like, God said, let there be light. And then it was light. And then, you know, you know, John chapter one, verse one, it's like the word was with God. I'm just like, yo, what is, what does this mean? And so it took me, it took me some time to actually awaken, to realize the truth about what was actually going on in my life the whole time. And I just could not get out of this bottomless pit, this, you know, this dark time in my life because I didn't know exactly what these scriptures meant. And I'm about to tell you what they meant. For those of you who don't know, you have a divine connection with whoever you worship, the source, the, what do you say, the universe, if you say God, we all are connected to this divine force, okay? And we have the power to just speak something such as what God spoke. And he said, let there be light. And then that was just light, just like that. It happened just like that. How did that happen so fast? Because here's the secret to the law of attraction. Here's the secret behind it all. Most of the time in people's lives, every single day, they don't know that they are speaking things into manifestation constantly okay so when most people speak they tend to have a natural tendency to speak without a strong convict a conviction okay when most people say they want something they 
immediately doubt that they will be able to get it, you know, or most of the time in people's regular everyday dialogue and conversation with other people, it's usually conversation of uncertainty, conversation of worry, a conversation of doubt, of conversation of, I don't know, maybe I might be able to get lucky, you know, something good, please come my way today. You see how most people talk? Most people talk as though what they are saying will not manifest. And so all through my life, I was wondering why I was having such a tough time with talking to the universe and getting my command, getting my every wish. It was because I didn't believe the things that I was saying to the universe. I doubted it. I had to see it in order to believe it. I wondered when was my manifestation gonna come? What time is it gonna get here? Failing to realize the moment I had spoke the thing that I wanted, it was already mine, okay? It's already yours. The moment you speak it, it's already yours, like that quick. But in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and God was the word. So in the very beginning of everything that you say, Whatever you want to attract in your life, you have to get into a habit of knowing that right when you said it, you're going to get it. It's yours. No matter what happens through the rest of the day, no matter what begins to go wrong, you still have to believe that the moment you spoke the command out your mouth, the universe heard you and the universe will attract to you that what you desire it's just that simple that's how simple it is and when you start to when you start to talk like that and when you start to think like that you will notice that it, anything that you want to attract into your life it'll just come naturally because you believe it first of all you believe it you don't have to ask anybody how is it work and is it gonna come you don't you know you don't question god like god i know you know, universe, I know, you know, it's Wednesday and, you know, I don't get paid today, but I really, if you thinking like that, you're never going to be able to attract what you want. Like, let there be light fast. You're never going to be able to attract it. And that's one thing that I learned that changed my whole entire life when it came for me to attract things into my life. That's one thing that changed my whole entire life. And now people can see that my life has changed i mean it's no secret i'm doing things that i want to do i'm having fun i'm living the best days of my life and it's only getting better and better because when you know how to talk directly to the universe and you believe that what you speak out of your mouth it must come okay and if you don't waver in your belief in believing that it will come it will come OK, and so everybody in the world, everybody in the world has this divine connection to the source. It's always there with us. It's always talking to us intuitively. The universe is always asking you, what do you want from me today? What do you want from me right now? What do you want after this video when you watch it? That's why you're watching it because I want to know what you want, okay? Comment below right now and just tell the universe right now, be very specific too, as to what you want to attract, okay? This is the secret law of attraction. I was at a lounge the other day and um, there was these two females beside me and um, they had ordered some drinks with oranges on the toothpick. Like two oranges came on the toothpick. I don't know. Maybe some of you, you bartenders out there know what I'm talking about. But two oranges on the toothpick. And, they, you know, they would serve two drinks. And so I overheard one of the girls say, hey, excuse me, sir, bartender, can you put more oranges on my toothpick? I need more oranges. 
And I'm just looking out the corner of my eye and I'm just like, that's enough right there. I mean, it ain't even that much drink in the cup. <laughs> you looking for a fruit cup or something, right? You looking for, you know, an edible arrangement or something. But you know, it wasn't my business. And he gave her two more oranges to put on two picks. And next thing you know, I heard her say again, oh, that ain't enough. She said, I want two more. So he put two more oranges on two pick. Now a whole two pick filled up with straight oranges inside of a drink. Now, to each his own, I had I should mind my own business, right? <laughs> but it made me think. She spoke something into existence. She asked for something and she received it do you know how many people want something but they never speak to the universe they never talk to the universe they never have a direct conversation with the universe and so they never receive an abundance of oranges on their toothpick so I'm saying that to say this you got to get out of a habit of being quiet and not saying anything about anything. That's another reason why a lot of people that want to attract what they want don't get to attract what they want is because closed mouths don't get fed. Mm -mm. Don't say nothing. Just take what you got. Don't. Uh -uh. You a fort? You can't get no real civil fort. You gotta keep that plastic one. No, no. I want a silver one, stainless steel. Get in the habit of talking to the universe and having a conversation with the universe and telling the universe exactly what it is that you want. I do it all the time. I wake up in the morning, I'm talking to the universe. I'm gonna do this today, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna meet two people today and they're gonna be my new friends. <laughs> I'm gonna find me a date today. She's gonna be so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to make some money today. That's one of my favorite ones. I'm going to make some money today. And I'm confident in what I'm saying. And I'm not doubting what I say. Because I know the word was God. And God was with the word. So I am God. Because the universe works through me. Just like the universe worked through you. So God works through you because the universe is also within you too, okay? And that same force that created the whole universe, every time you speak, you are using it. And your words are sounds. Sounds are vibra vibrations. And when vibrations go into the universe, they must manifest whatever it is that you say that you want. Anything that you say that you want, the vibration and the sound of you speaking it goes out into the universe, folks. Just like the ripple in the ocean, okay? It's like a rock when you throw it in the lake, it ripples. That one sound, when that rock hit that pond or that lake, it spread across the whole lake because sound travels. So whatever you speak, it will manifest. Only if you believe that what you say out your mouth will manifest and attract to you, okay? So this is how you talk to the universe and attract what you want magically, okay? Using the secret law of attraction. Remember to comment below something that you want. And after you comment whatever you want to attract into your life in the, in the bottom of the comment section, make sure that you speak it into existence exactly what you wrote. And be descriptive too. Put a lot of details and be clear and precise about what you want. Just one thing, what you want right now. Comment it in the comment section right now. And then speak every word that you have written. And it will be manifested into your life. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Trini Sanderson, folks. If this video resonated with you, if you're going to talk to the universe after this video, get this video a thumbs up right now. All right. Other than that, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon and be sure to hit the bell notification. If you don't have the bell notification turned on, you don't get to get my videos first. All right. Like these two videos right here that's popping up on the screen.
So with that being said, speak up, let your voice be heard. Tell the universe what you desire. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.